first in every man's guide to today's polls. A new national survey once again shows Hillary Clinton leading Donald Trump by double digits. This one is from McClatchy and Marist. It shows Clinton leading Trump by 15 points. Wow! 48 to 33 percent. Holy moly. This is on the heels of last night's Fox News survey that showed Clinton with a six point swing in her advantage since June, up in that poll by 10 points, 49 to 39. Clinton in the Fox poll no longer trails Trump on some key traits, such as who is considered more honest and trustworthy. The trend towards Clinton is something that's happening not just nationally, but also in four new key state polls that are out today, each one in a state that Trump has mentioned in the past week as key to his victory vision. We have a lot of states in play right now. I think we're going to do great in Michigan. We're going to do great in Pennsylvania. In New Hampshire, I'm leading by a lot. I'm doing great. And I'm going to win in Florida. All right, so how's Trump actually doing in those states? Suffolk has Clinton up by six points in a Florida, in Florida poll. WBUR has her up 17 in New Hampshire. A poll by Franklin and Marshall says that her lead is 11 points in Pennsylvania. In Michigan, Clinton is beating Trump by 10 points, according to a new Detroit News survey, 41-31. Michigan, of course, is not a must-win state for Trump, but if true, this poll could foreshadow some real problems for Team Trump in the Midwest, the Rust Belt, and other states with large suburban populations. Only 65% of so-called strong Republicans in Michigan are now supporting their party's nominee. That problem is most prominent in the suburbs around Detroit. In those rim counties, Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson is pulling in 16 percent of all Republican votes, more than double what he's getting statewide. It comes almost entirely from Trump defections and is driven largely by white Republican men. A similar thing happening in western Michigan as well. So, Mark, uh, we always like to have to say that polls are only snapshots, and we also know that these are really bad polls for Donald Trump. My question for you is just how bad are they? Polls are just a snapshot. I just said that. But this is a snapshot of a, just, this is a snapshot of a, of a severed arm. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a snapshot, but the arm yeah. is off. Yeah. So they're gonna have to put the arm back on. I mean, the only good news for Trump in these is that it's a wake-up call for him to change his ways because he loves polls, talks about polls all the time. We all know that. He can't be in denial now. He can denounce one or two polls as being off, but this is a, a body of polling data that is derivative of the direct result of his poor performance and the successful Democratic convention. Right. He's got August to fix it. I, I, look, I think, you know, look, there's a big lesson here. You're always going to get a bump coming out of your convention if it's at all well staged and the Democratic convention was. Um, in combination, as you suggested, it's bad if you're on the, on the opposite side to crater in like a historically horrible way at exactly the same time that your opponent is rising. I think that the problem for Trump here is that these numbers could now lock in for a long time. I mean, he might not be able to move these numbers in an appreciable way until that first debate. That's two months away, month and more than a month away, a month and a half away. What? What? I mean, these are bad, and they're yeah. not just bad. The, the national number's big, and it shows that Trump's floor is lower than we thought. But the state polls, and in particular these attributes, where Trump had a lead on Clinton, a lot of these attributes, and she has closed the gap or overtaken him in a lot of them. Man, I'd be freaking out if I was in the Trump campaign right now. And they've got money now, best news for the, of the week for him raising money, but do you really want to spend money on August advertising to try to fix your poll numbers in August? When probably not. When everyone's watching the Olympics? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so it, this, is, this is scared Republicans. It's given the never Trumpers a, a big I told you so moment to say this guy is, is bad news for the whole party and you can't, you can't assume he's going to get polling numbers that are good anytime soon. Right, and it's freaking everybody out at a moment when they're already freaked yep. out. Yeah.